Good morning from China Hot Springs and it no it's not cold yes we have jackets on because you'll see these little things flying through the air there is so many mosquitoes in yeah, the air but <laughs> I'm getting what I can of them it's a thankless job <laughs> Somebody's uh, got to do it. So we uh, we drove up from Fairbanks uh, to China. Uh, when we leave here, we're going to show you the road going back well, home. Well, we so. were at North Pole yesterday yes. for church, mm -hmm. then Fairbanks up to China. Mm -hmm. but so um, in case you're looking at a map, I got to set my tea uh, down. After a while, I'll get a map out and show <laughs> you guys. We've been getting some comments that there's two things that people like is me getting the map out, showing where we're at, and the second thing is people want to know the date. I don't know what the date is. Oh, hang on, let me look. <laughs> People always ask me, what date is it? Oh, I was it's like, the 6th, it's June 6th. Si June 6th. Yes, so, yes. Um, at night, it gets down into the 40s, but it's not bad. Mm -mm. Uh, in the day, it's in the 70s. It never gets dark. <laughs> right, so. Uh, but we have blackout curtains, mm -hmm. and we also, let me show you. Ed made these to slide in our curtains because what we did is we got one blackout curtain of course it was too big so we had it cut in half and then did half again so they're double thick of blackout curtain and then ed slides that in there and it's pitch black in there so it's nice that's helped us sleep at night uh other than that it would be kind of difficult with the light so if you come up here just keep that in mind it's daylight most of the day uh, we are sneaking up on the 21st, which will be the solstice, and we're looking forward to 24 hours of daylight, seeing what that's like. Although I don't However, think... the 19th comes before the 21st, that's and right. what happens on the 19th? <laughs> that's our anniversary. 40 we're years. We're going to celebrate 40 years of marriage in yeah. Alaska itself. Yeah, so. that's pretty exciting. My hey. 50th date for my 40th anniversary. How about that? So, um, hey, I'm cooking some breakfast. Let me show you what we've got going on here. One of the things I forgot... Uh, when we came up here was a lid for our frying pan. So I'm making do here with this uh, metal right. serving tray that we had. And uh, right now I'm cooking some hash browns. And um, so what these hash browns are, you can see you just put them in a skillet and brown them. But um, what, what these hash browns are is you buy these freeze dried Idaho spuds from Costco and you pour hot water in there and you can make you hash browns. So that's what we do. And after that, I'll cook some eggs and uh, we'll have eggs and hash browns. So <clears throat> in a little while, we're gonna show you the springs, but uh, one of the things that we got going on here is because we're at a day when we are just sitting still for a couple days. When we're sitting still for a couple days, what we do is we just cook up some food that when we're on the road, it'd make it easier for us to do that. So we're gonna spend about four hours cooking this morning and getting things ready for a few days worth of meals. Um, the campsite here is not very, um, not very fancy, but um, you know, we got to set up this campsites in here are nice and big and there's lots of like wood and brush and things like that in between the two sites. There is just a pit toilet, and um, I don't, did I see fire pits? I don't know, but anyway, yeah, they have them. Mm -hmm. it's a nice, it's and they, uh, they actually sell firewood up at the, um, at the office. Yeah, this time of year, they're $20 a night. Uh, I think a week ago, it would have been $10 actually, a night. Actually, the day we arrived, they raised the price up <laughs> from 20 Because to... the water is on back here, but I haven't seen any water. Have you seen There's... any water? So there's some campsites that are basically up on the parking lot. They're the same price. Uh, um, and then there's some camping sites in the woods. Right. Uh, so we, you could be on a parking lot or you could be back here in the woods. We chose the woods. There's about three motor homes up on the, uh, up on the parking lot. I don't lot. think they could fit in here. That might be what the problem is. Yeah. So um, the campsites are great, yeah. uh, very secluded. Let me show you something that I think is unique here. Right here, you can see this is campsite 11 and they have the size of rig that would fit in here so the maximum rig that could fit in here is a 40 foot so that's your tow vehicle and your rig itself yeah, obviously we have no problems we have the smallest one around but um you can see the campsites are really cool so back here in the woods there's just an outhouse however you can walk up to the lodge 
and they do have flush toilets there. There is no showers unless you go in the hot springs. They have like a hot springs and then a swimming pool and there's showers there. Man, we should have got this campsite. It's nice and sunny and look at this creek right here. Uh. You can see how remote this place actually is. They actually have their own runway here. This morning, um, you know, a charter flight came in and some people got on and left out of here. I guess they fly to Fairbanks from here, but they got a runway, they got a fire department, they got the whole works. They got a really cool piece of machinery over here. I want to take you over and show you. But here they actually have a Rolagon. It's a just a big beast of a machine that can move anything. Uh, it says that they put it played a big um, a big role in the oil fields here about moving equipment and things like that. So these tires are so huge, they actually depict a man laying down and being run over by the machine, and it doesn't harm him. So, <laughs> oh man, I guess it uh, it. It d distributes the weight really good. I don't know what they use it for here, but actually it was running this morning because I could see the tire tracks here where they actually used it for something. But pretty cool piece of machinery. It said it was built in 1954 and uh, used in the oil fields up here. And they use so it they here. There's a the lot resort. of hotel rooms here on the site. I'm not quite sure how many are here, but um, when you take a cruise, um, mainly the people we've been seeing here are from Holland, America cruises, but I'm sure other cruise lines use them. Uh, the land portion of the cruise when you're on a bus would come here for the day and this is an overnight stop. So they have several hotel rooms. I'm not quite sure how many are here. And then they have one really unique hotel room I'll talk about in a minute. But uh, you know, all this is sustained here by itself using the geothermal coming out of the ground. So um, they have greenhouses and the whole works. So it's pretty cool, pretty interesting to look at. seen these little snow crawler mobiles or whatever in movies never seen one up close um, so from what we've just found out is that most of their business is done during the aurora season where people come up here to see the aurora and right now there's nobody here it's i i would i would venture to guess there's less than 100 people here um, so my, many of the services are shut down and that uh, didn't realize that when I was coming here. So um, the days are 21 hours long. Um, I just put that little uh, clip up of the board. So at 21 hours a day, you're not gonna see the Aurora. So I think it's in sometime in August, the end of August, the Aurora comes back and you have the opportunity to see that, but that's, um, these vehicles are used to haul people out to remote areas and see the aurora and things like that. That's mainly what they do. So, um, I mean, we're still having a great time here. It's it's fun to look around the hot spring. Um, the staff is really um, low right now. There's not much going on. And to be honest with you, nobody knows anything. <laughs> you ask a question about... Um, you know what time is this or you know what's available nobody knows and um, so it's been a little bit of frustrating for us uh, from that sense but I mean we're still having a good time we're enjoying it um, later on today I'll be back in the hot springs well you can't go wrong by soaking in the hot springs for sure but uh, yeah I you know I never I never had the opportunity to look at these things up close oh this they got this one locked but um, they got some benches in there so they must take people up 
uh, and um, look at the Aurora. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. Um, we're still having a great time. Oh, Ed, he wants you to check his paw. Oh, dear goes. Oh, so sweet. Oh, so sweet. I know. I know. Somebody else wants to see me. I'll be right back. Hi. Where are you up to? Can you get up here? Oh, no. Through there? Come here. Oh. How are you guys doing? Just so lazy on these hot days. Look at this one on his house. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. You doing all right? So we're at a dog, I don't know, do you call it kennel? I'm not sure. Anyway, they do dog sledding. Um, we can take a ride, but they have a cart, like a six passenger cart, and that's not really what I want to take, so I'm going to wait. But anyway, they have 85 what she called poopers. <laughs> so anyway, and this one here is just as sweet as it can be. Let's take a look at all of them. We just had the most amazing conversation. With a musher, is what she called herself. And she has been doing this now for two and a half years. And she started, to start out, you use the puppies and you train them, condition them, get them ready. And then she just talks about like her, um, what was it, like a two day run? Mm -hmm. And how um, the dogs get obviously more sleep than you do because when she stops, she has to lay straw down for them to sleep. She feeds them, she cooks their food, they get hot food, and waters them. She checks their joints to make sure, you know, they haven't torn a ligament or anything like that. And then she said about um, 40 minutes, if she's lucky, she, she gets, gets to rest. She gets and rest. then they start all over and finish the race. So she was uh, explaining to us why the dogs are kind of just lounging around, is that the dogs require about 15 hours of sleep a day. Right. And so they want to work uh, really hard to make sure the dogs get that that amount of sleep. So they kind of restrict them there. And, and put once there. it gets, what, over 70, 70 degrees, mm -hmm. they don't take the dogs out mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. So that was very informative. We had a really good time yeah. chatting with her. She was very helpful to However, us. However, so. they go, some, she said they can out, go out running 50, 60 below. They like that better. Mm -hmm. The dogs enjoy being in the cold weather yeah <laughs> unlike <not me>. us <laughs> unlike me so anyway cute dog so friendly it was a fun stop it's above 70 degrees right now so they're not doing any i'm, any I'm not races. gonna ride here because i want a certain sled i'm really picky she's not uh she's wanting her first sled dog experience to not be in a cart with a bunch of other people so yeah um anyway but we still had a good time yeah. looking back here one of the most informative employees we've met yes, since we've been here. Yes. It's been really good. Good so, job. Yeah, we're going to go back and speaking of dogs, yeah. we need to run back there. We couldn't take Herky He's not going to be happy because so, I've been loving on dogs. We're going to take a walk back to the campground. I've seen this train sitting over here just outside the gate. I have no idea what they're but they have plans for this thing, but uh, you know, I had to, I had to go over and look at it. I mean, the Alaskan Railroad and everything. I see that further down the way here, they're laying some tracks. I doubt they're laying miles of track. It's probably just uh, going to be a display here, but it's uh, pretty neat. I had to run over here really quick and take a look at it. museum behind me Ed says that you can stay in there that I'm not sure of I do know they have a bar and the glasses that you drink out of are made of ice however we are not a high-budget YouTube channel so we won't be showing you inside 
because it's like $25 a person to get in. Most big YouTube channels, they let in for free just to get the publicity, but that is not us. So anyway, that it is. If you wanna see it, I'm sure you could Google it and you could find other YouTube channels that have gone inside. This Friday, we'll be on the road a month. So what I had made up before we left home is gone. So we went to, the, to Walmart there in Fairbanks and we are here at Chino Lakes Chino, Chino Hot, Hot Springs, Springs for a couple of days. So mm -hmm. we have bulk um, sausage, and so we fried that up, and we have uh, we, we can we can put that in eggs. with eggs. Yeah, we uh, put it with our eggs. We make uh, the breakfast burritos. Mm -hmm. So we have that. Now we are doing up some um, hamburger because you know hamburger crumbled and fried up you can use for all kinds of things. tacos, nachos, spaghetti, burritos, spaghetti. You, All that stuff. Yep. Yeah, Sloppy Joe's, uh, Coney sauce, it, it, the list goes on. So mm -hmm. this is like a staple for us. So since we're in a, a place here where there's good wet, we got good weather and a good spot to do it, that's why... We just had to fight off the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are crazy, but uh, we're actually doing pretty good. And uh, so, you know, a lot of people like to see what we, how we do this. <laughs> So right now we're gonna make up enough meals to last at least a week, maybe maybe, maybe longer. We do have a freezer. But uh, look what's for dinner tonight. Oh yeah, we're gonna splurge. We look have at those babies. New York strap. Fifteen dollars and eighty cents for two steaks, but we're gonna splurge, and we're gonna have steak for dinner and tonight. And salad. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and then uh, I'm going to relax in the hot springs, and I'm going to be super relaxed. Go to bed get ready for our big uh, drive back down the Chino Hot Springs Road tomorrow. So And maybe to the Arctic Circle. Is that tomorrow? I don't, that we don't days? know. Yeah. We're just kind of winging it at this point. But uh, yeah, we got to get back to work. All right, here's the decision we came up with is that um, since those hot springs were really hot, Nancy really just doesn't enjoy the hats uh, when they're that hot. So I'm going to go on my own. She has gotten hooked on this some Alaskan books that have been written. I don't know, it's about women homesteaders or something, I don't know. But uh, she keeps buying all these books that uh, she's reading. So she's reading about a book a day uh, since so she's got hooked on this. So she's gonna stay back at the camper and read those books. And I'm gonna go in here in the hot springs and soak for about three hours is about all I can take. So um, it's pretty nice. They've got it all set up here and nice. Uh, listen, I'm partial to that Liard Hot Springs at the park that we went to on the way up, but uh, this is pretty good. And uh, so I'm going to go in here and soak. You know what? I brought the uh, GoPro and the floating handle so I can uh, take you in here with me. So let's go. Yeah, before I got in there, I thought, you know what? I need to run around back here and show you what it looks like with an overview. So, take a look. Yeah, made it out here into the pond. It's, um, I don't think this is natural. They've uh, kind of like hollowed this out, this area, although, and the water is pumped in here out of the ground. Uh, there is a soft, um, like pea gravel on the bottom. And um, some places you can feel cold water coming up through that so I imagine you know they filter it and that but it's um it's pretty nice there's not a lot of people here right now from what I understand this is their low season uh, most people come here to see the aurora so uh, obviously when it's daylight 21 22 hours a day you're not gonna see that but um, hey let me show you around very nice I will probably soak in here about three hours or so and then go back edit some video, and then go to bed. So, hey, take a look around. So this is similar when I was in uh, Liard Hot Springs, is there's some different pockets in here that are hotter than others so this is uh, pretty pretty warm right here but 
as you get over to this edge I think they're probably pumping some water in here it is really almost unbearably hot just standing right here oh my and so um, you can kind of bring up some cold water from the bottom and cool yourself off so there is some places that depending on your tolerance level you wouldn't want to stand but uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna sit here for a while so here's I went in here last night so here's my experience is that the swimming pool is just probably about 80 degrees this is really warm maybe over 100 maybe 108 something like that and then um, they have a hot tub that's more around the body temperature range so I stayed in here until I just couldn't take it anymore and then go into the pool and cool off a little bit so that's what I'm gonna be doing and um, just really enjoying the evening here I wish that you could be here when the, the sun goes down but since the sun doesn't go down uh, they have some accent lighting I bet it's really pretty in the winter time I'm told that there's ice formations on all the rocks because of the steam coming off um, but hey hey look at here so I want to show you something these are uh, these water cannons that are keeping water in that water is cold so um, ooh, that's a little cold yep so you could get on here oh hang on <laughs> Had to wipe the lens off a little bit. So if you want to cool off a little bit, you could get underneath one of these water cannons and cool off a little. Um, I imagine that's what they got them for. So yeah, I mean there's ways to cool. So yeah, there's ways to cool down if you want to. Uh, and then if you just want to sit here and boil, well, you can do that too. <sighs> All right, this is a little step down from where. This is just a hot tub where they take some cooler water and mix it up in here. This is a step down from where I was before. I would say this is about body temperature. I'll stay here for a minute. I'm working my way down to the swimming pool that's actually cold. Uh, oh boy. Nice evening here. Just had a nice chat with a young couple that's, uh, that drove up from Seattle and uh, just kind of getting their experiences that's one of the things I like about travel is that you can uh, meet other people and get different perspectives on life and you know what they're all about what the places they've been and their dreams and uh, it's fun to do that because sometimes uh, you gain knowledge and sometimes their dream becomes your own so all right I have to sit here and relax a little bit and cool down. I'm gonna be here just a short time because I'm headed towards the cool swimming pool and I'll catch up with you there. I'm back in the swimming pool. It is just regular pool water temperature. Cooling down a little bit. I didn't stay long in the hot tub because some guys got in there and they started arguing about politics. What is wrong with people? You're here to relax and you're arguing with strangers about politics so i was like yeah i want nothing to do with that so um i just went ahead and moved on out of here not, i have nothing to contribute there is no answer to the craziness we find ourselves in so um i would rather just be in here and peaceful i say somewhat peaceful there's a bunch of kids in here splashing but i'd much rather deal with that than the politics so um yeah, let's swim in the pool and uh, relax. Wow, we have had a busy morning. We just left China Hot Springs. We stopped and did laundry. Kirky got a bath. I took a shower and washed my hair. We stopped and gassed up. I got lunch. And now we are at the pipeline and we are gonna say goodbye for now. One adventure ends and another one begins. Bye now. See you next Sunday.